This is Lesson 89, uh, March 18th, Monday, and it's on, it starts on page 368, but actually I'm going to skip conjunctions and disjunctions, and what we're going to do is we're going to start on page 370, which is 89.C, products of chords and secants. Alright, so let me get a circle up here for us. Whoa. Okay. So, a uh, chord and a secant. Let's look at what these things are. If I have a line drawn from one edge of the circle to another, that's called a chord. But if I have another said circle, and I draw a line from here outside the circle, that becomes a secant. So it not only touches either um, two sides of the circle, but it goes through and extends, extends through. So, difference between a secant and a chord for what we're doing here. Um, one of the previous lessons we did, we had uh, things like that. We had two chords crossing, and let's say, for instance, we wanted to know how many degrees this was, given that this was 80 and this was 90 degrees. So we're talking about this distance right here. These curves are measured in degrees. Okay. So, from uh, a previous lesson, we learned that x equals the sum of these two sides, 80 plus 90, and then we divided that by 2, and so x was 85 degrees. So, that's how we found that. Now, when we did this with secants, let me draw another line up here. Uh, let's just do this one. This is from the book, so I'll make it just like that. And let's say we're looking for how many degrees this is, given that this is 90 degrees. So from here to the tangent point right there is 90. And then this was 170, which means this length here we don't care about, but that would be the difference between 360 and you know, the 170 and, one in the, and the 90. But anyway, as far as solving for x, it's outside the circle, it's a secant. x equals the largest minus the smallest divided by 2, and in this case, x equals 40 degrees. Okay, so that's what we did in previous lesson in order to find degrees here, the degree of this x right here and the degree of this x right here. In this lesson that we're going to be looking at today, we're going to be looking at a different part of the secant. We're going to be looking at the lengths of those line segments. So let me draw chord here and a chord here. Okay, so I have those chords drawn and this one is 2, this one is 6, this one is 4, this one is 3. Okay, so what we know about that, about um, chords, is that if we multiply this length times this length, I get 12, but that will equal this length times this length, which is 4 times 3. So 12 equals 12. Okay? So that's the, uh, the formula for um, chords. So let's put one up here that we don't have all the information. 3, 5, 7, and x. Now it just doesn't just work for these two chords. It works for any two chords that you have up here. If you've got three of the measurements, you're able to uh, figure out the fourth one. So, we're going to take the length of that and multiply it, 5x, and that's going to be the length of this multiplied, 3 times 7. So, 5x equals 21, therefore, x equals 21 over 5. Okay, not much to that. Let's look at what happens when we are dealing with secants rid of my chords, and let's put a uh, secant up here. Alright, so if I have a line that goes outside the circle, and I have another line that goes inside the circle, uh, let's just stop it right there. Okay, and I'm going to say that this is 5, this is 3, and this is 2, and this is 10. Okay, so this can be a little bit tricky, 
But what we're going to do is we're going to take the length of the outside part of the line and we're going to multiply it by the sum or the total length of the line segment. So for instance, the total length would be this length. So we're going to take the side outside 3, multiply it by the total length. The total length is the 3 outside plus the 5 inside. Okay? And that's going to equal the length of the outside, 2, times the length of the total secant here, 2 plus 10. Okay, so let's see what happens. 3 times 8 equals 2 times 12. So they're both 24. Okay, so that's the rule. So again, if we're given one of these where um, we don't have all the information, we can still find the length of part of the chord, okay, or the secant. So let's say we've got that, and then we've got that. Okay, so I'm going to say this is 4, this is x, this is 3, and this is 5. Okay, so according to what I said before, we're going to take the length of the outside part of the segment right here, 4, we're going to multiply it times the entire thing. The entire thing is the length 4 plus whatever x is. That will give us the length of the whole thing. Equals, the length here is 3 times the sum of the whole line, 3 plus 5. So we've got, using uh, distributive, 16 plus 4x equals 9 plus 15. So 16 plus 4x equals 20. 4, subtract 16 from both sides, we get 8, divide by 4, and we get 2 for that length right there. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how we do that. Now, although, yes, I know, this looks, this is 4, and this is only 2, um, I just have a bad drawing up there. But same idea as you're doing this. 4 times 4 plus x equals 3 times uh, 3 plus 5. So anyway, um, this will be 2. When you get it in the homework, it'll look a little bit truer to uh, what size it is. So anyway, that is lesson 89, products of chords and secants. And that's all I'm going to ask you to do on that rather than... Um, doing the disjunctions and the conjunctions. So you should be good to go.